Today I show you guys why I got first and third in a wet t-shirt contest. Hey. Hey guys, what's going on? Part of what's CJG54 here. And I hope that if you have any common sense at all, you realize that those weren't actually boobs. But these are... God, they're so loud. These are called perplexes. And I thought that I was going to do a little bit of a review on them because I've had them for a long time and I guess I just really haven't been aware of it because I've been using them so much. Just without realizing it, I guess. <sighs> but I thought I'd make a review on them. You're going to be hearing this whole episode, folks. Hope you enjoy. Alright, so in case you've been locked in a hole your whole childhood, this is called a perplexus. So basically, it's a clear ball with this cool looking 3D maze thing inside it. Uh, and basically there's a ball bearing in there, and you move it around on the maze until you get through, until you get through it. So you go around, you do all these little features and stuff, and it's just really enjoyable because it's unlike anything that has ever been created before. So they're just really fun, and I'm going to do a review on both the original Perplexus and the Perplexus Epic. Oh boy. Alright, so let's dive right into the regular perplexus. So just a little bit of background. I got this for Chris Christmas two years ago. And I've just been playing with it. It's really fun and a great way to annoy your parents on long car trips. Or just for, you know, sitting on the couch, watching porno, goofing around with this, you know, whatever. It's great for doing it just anywhere. It's something that you can it's very graspable, as you can see. <laughs> but it's just really fun, because I've never seen anything like it. But so what you do is there's this little spot, little spot right there, and you put the little ball bearing in one of the spots. So we'll go step one, or on um, one. So we'll go one, and then you follow the little numbered arrows, and then you do all the little little gizmos until you get all the way to a hundred and then once you do it goes in the cup and you can't go anymore just like that I won haha <laughs> get wrecked um, but let's see pros as I said before super fun Just you can use it anywhere pretty much as long as people around you don't care or you don't care what they think shocker bro but you know it's durable too the plastic is solid uh... the maze itself is you know stationed inside the plastic ball very well it's not really shaking all over the place the thing you just heard was the ball bearing but i guess some cons would be So loud. I mean, if you're pl if you're goofing with it, you really don't care. But if you're listening to somebody go like, listen to somebody else use it, it's unbearable. It's so loud. Um. Then, but it's it's ridiculous how loud it can get sometimes. Because sometimes you know they'll get angry with it, whatever. Try to strangle it like your own pet cat, whatever. Um, yeah, my psychiatrist told me not to say that, but, uh, whatever, it's been said. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, specifically on the original Perplexus, I don't know if you can see, the number 66 there, the little hat, the little jiggly hat, that likes to break off, and if you break it off, you're screwed, because you have no way of getting into it to put it back on. That happened on one of my other ones, so, yeah. But, honestly, that's about it. If you just get past the... And, you know, just enjoy it. it. It's so much fun. I've spent hours on this thing. And, you know, I pretty much have it down to a science now. I've, I can gladly say I've mastered it. But, it's... It's wonderful. 
Uh, let's see, I think I got this. When I first got it, they were originally like 25 bucks. I bet you can find one for 15 on Amazon now. But if you want to, go pick yourself. Go pick one up for yourself. You know, this one is really, like, I'm not going to say easy, but it's a lot easier than some of the other models that they make because it is the most, no, I stand corrected, second most, uh, why did I say that? Cooper needs to work on his grammar. I can't even remember what I was going to say. It's good. Buy it. It's, I remember what I was going to say now. It's fun, and it's not easy. Do not be, like, just stupid and thinking that it's easy. Because it is most certainly not easy. It's... It probably took me at least a hundred tries before I could finally get... Do all of it, one through one hundred, without falling. Or without screwing up somehow. But it's... You know, it's able to handle all the rage. I'll throw this at my wall. It doesn't break this. It breaks the wall, sadly. Because walls are expensive. But... It's wonderful. I'm gonna shut up about this thing now. Let's move on to the other one. Alright. So this is the Perplexus Epic. This thing is the bane of my existence. <laughs> so, pretty much the same thing as this, except it's a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Not too big. Not too much. I don't know the exact specification because I don't care. But it's so hard. Because <laughs> you finish that thing, you think you're a master at everything. I got this last Christmas. If this thing had a neck, it would be broken. Okay? It is so difficult. Because there are just... I mean, there's a lot cooler stuff. Like, there's a lot more... Like, uh... Because on these, it's basically you just go through the maze. But on this, like, there's these cool stairs things. I call it, think the term for it is, like, Jacob Stairs or some weird crap like that. Uh, there's this big blue tube going through the middle. I don't think you can see it because my... Com camera's crap. There it is. Right there. That tube right there. It goes all the way up and around and it's, you know, pretty cool. And then this little white circular thing on top, you go right there and then it drops into a funnel and then you go through said tube. So it's really cool because you're not really, like the ball isn't just traveling around the thing the whole time. You know, it's moving, it's jumping, it's flying. It's pretty cool. But Oh, let's see. I, like, I honestly... Oh, I know a con. Well, first I'm going to say the pros. Pros, it's fun. Uh, it's very fun. It's very fun to try for the first 20 minutes you own it. Cons, it's so hard. I have, like... Uh, also, it's this one... It's baby brother is a hundred levels, like a hundred features. So you go through a hundred arrows. This one is 125. So 25 more painful, obliteratingly terrible levels. <sighs> but um besides me complaining about stuff that I can't do. I think that one of the only cons for this is sometimes on certain features, the ball will get stuck. Like that. It'll get just stuck right there. So if you're trying to, you know, roll it around, it's... There it goes. And you have to shake it or you have to push it and you risk breaking a piece on there. But it just, it happens way too often. And even though I can't demonstrate it very much for you, it, it happens a lot. But it's, nonetheless, it's extremely fun, even though it is so blatantly hard. It's, it's nearly impossible. If you can do, if you can do this, leave me a comment, and I will like, because I don't know whether to love you or to hate you, because you are either like, 
Superman or Satan himself? Okay. I'm fangirling over this thing way too much. But, like, speaking of which, I love this thing. Like, as much as I say it's hard and stuff and I hate it, I do love it. It's so much fun. Let's go through. The only part that's not fun about it is getting the ball stuck on these little things. Like it is now. But, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. Uh, the only thing that's not fun about it is getting to level 123 and then falling off. Because honestly, the hardest thing on here is level 124. Because it's this weird thing. Oh my god, I hate it. It is literally the bane of my existence. But it's a fun bane of my existence. So, that wraps up for this thing. Alright, so what have we learned? Perplexus is fun. Perplexus is terrible. Perplexus is addictive. Perplexus is the bane of my existence. However, you know, I guess that's the best way the best way to describe it. Perplexus is perplexus, and perplexus is fun. But perplex but fun is also the bane of my existence. Therefore, according to the transitive property of geometry, perplexus is the bane of my existence. Thanks, math. But if you want to go and you want to spend hours, days, months on these two puzzles, have at it. Just looked it up. You can find one of these for 15 bucks, which is $10 off the usual price. I forgot to mention this in my earlier clip, but you can find these for $25 uh, compared to the regular 30 So nobody really wants them anymore, so you can get them pretty gosh darn cheap. So, that should wrap it up. I'm definitely not on my game today. I'm exhausted. So I apologize for my raunchiness. Perfect example. Uh, I honestly have no idea what's going on. Uh, what time is it? Yeah, it's almost four. I got up two hours ago. Day in the life of Cooper, you know. Whatever. So thanks for watching. Go get yourself a perplexus. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Because I want to make money. <laughs> Bye.